What is up, Togs? Time for another thrilling unboxing video. Yes, I know. Uh, we we're doing a lot of these, and usually this time of year when we're just buying a lot of stuff is when I end up doing this. But today, you might find this interesting because this is something that's fairly new, something I didn't know that I was going to get or that I thought I needed. So today, we're going to unbox the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Uh, and without any further ado, uh, because now nowadays these boxes just come with this handy dandy info that says exactly what's in the box. So these, really these videos are just for your enjoyment, mostly for mine. So uh, Apple boxes now come with these nice little tabs. Oh, there's nothing quite as satisfying as unboxing an Apple phone. Okay, so just so we can look at form factor, the difference between the old box and the new box is basically the thickness of the box. I know, super exciting stuff, but uh, mostly for me, it's because it's nice to know that when they make a smaller box, they're selling millions of these, so they're making less waste, and to me, that's important. So, just taking it right out, um, comes with this protective cardboard instead of plastic. Again, consciously, conscious the environment, although it is covered with plastic, so this is still waste. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Uh, along with the phone that comes inside the box. You get your charging cable. Uh, again, this, the, the lightning cable to USB-C is now what comes normal or which comes regular with your iPhone um, and other Apple products. Uh, and then this is so you can take out your SIM card um, and replace it with a new one if you need to. Always love stickers. So you comes with a little nice little Apple sticker. And that is it. Really, there's no point in putting manuals and things anymore because you can just look everything up online. Um, but it does come with this, um, what I'm guessing is like a quick start guide. No, this is just like general information. So that is all that comes in here, inside the box. Do you wanna talk about your all-time fastest unboxing videos? Um, we are gonna do a few more things though in this video just to keep things interesting and not make this this, which we, we could have done like a YouTube short. I'm gonna show you the difference in form factor between iPhone 13, over here in the blue and in the green, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now I know iPhone 12 has pretty much the same form factor as the 13, uh, but just to guys show you guys the difference in size, um, this camera, if you look at it side by side, is slightly bigger even though it has kind of the same setup. Um, boasting one of the uh, most advanced cameras to date on a phone. So we're gonna try that out as well um, for you guys. So slightly thicker this way, slightly wider. I mean, we can just put them together. I mean, it is ever so slightly thinner than the old iPhone. And then as far as depth goes, just because it's of the camera, it's gonna be slightly deeper than the old iPhone 11. If you're rocking something that's older than the iPhone 11, we do have also an iPhone 8 Plus here. Um, and again, the 8 Plus pretty much is the same size as the 11. Um, but obviously very different in the camera. Um, so th those are the real differences that you're gonna find. Obviously the home button was, was taken away when you're talking about going up to an 11. So if you're trying to make a decision uh, on these things, what I'm gonna do now is show you guys some side-by-side -side comparison uh, photos. We're gonna take some at night, we're gonna take some in the evening, we're gonna take some during the day in good light, we're gonna take some in indoors. I'm gonna show you guys the gamut of of different uh, quality videos and photos that you're gonna sh see between the iPhone 13 Pro, the iPhone 11 Pro, and then the iPhone 8 Plus. Now, all of these are kind of slightly different in their iterations as far as uh, the technology goes, and I'll have comparisons for you guys here on the screen for you as well, so it's not just me saying, oh, look how much better this is. Um, we'll flash those on the screen for you so you can take a look at those. What you might be more interested in, which is the comparison of the, the images that you can take with the iPhone 13 Pro uh, versus some of the older versions. Just trying to see, I'm walking on uneven path here. Her path is uh, turn my held loosely on this one um, but just walking down a path and trying to uh, give you an idea if stabilization on the 13 is any better than stabilization on the 
11 Pro. These are both Pro models, by the way. All right, that's all I got for you on this one.